Hello everyone, welcome to today's lesson and we're quite having another interesting kind of lesson all together. I uh, want to tell, please see your neighbor to just pay attention and move forward. Uh, welcome to Tower Academic and today's lesson we are looking at the glaciation. It's quite an interesting topic here. Uh, it occurs in particular kind of uh, places in East Africa. Basically, those are with uh, the highest points in East Africa. We talk about Mount Renzori and Mount Kilimanjaro areas. On those uh, mountains, we see snow capped peaks. Uh, basically, that's where we see this uh, glaciation. You wonder why we're talking about glaciation in East Africa? Basically, because we see it in those areas. So, what is glaciation? Glaciation refers to the formation of ice on a highland. Uh, when there is more snow falling than what than which can melt actually it is to accumulation of ice on top of these islands and then when the temperatures remain constantly below zero degrees actually they even move to negative degrees ice sheet known as glaciers are formed we are yet to understand what glaciers are so as we move on we are saying here that as glaciers move they erode the surface leaving behind glacial erosion futures for example the pyramidal peaks hanging valleys corals circus and the arets also after transportation glaciers deposit all the eroded materials leading to formation of uh, glacial deposition materials or futures uh, for example here we have the drum lines these are examples of the features formed when uh, the glacier deposits these materials we have the outwash plains we have the eskers and we have the keto holes we have the boulders and then moraine these are formed after the deposition of the glacier so we are saying the glacier performs two processes uh, it, 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 it erodes when it is moving from up slope down the slope retreating it erodes then later it deposits so we have what we call the glacial erosion features the one we have looked up the ones up these ones here these ones here so the pyramidal peaks hanging valleys corals and circus and arets are known as glacial erosion futures then we come to the outwash plains and eskers and cattle holes and then boulders and moraine these are known as deposition of glacial what futures uh, we move on so what we see right here we're going to start with the erosion futures we see the circus we see the horn which is known as the pyramidal peak we see the tan here then we see the arets the knife edge shape and then we also see the circus around this area then we also see the glacial troughs the hanging valleys here and uh, we shall move into detail to see what this and then when we move down here we see what we call the glacial depositional landforms uh, where we have the drum lines these ones here we have the calm we have the receding glacial which is actually coming down here that forms all these features then we have the eskers uh, we have uh, the cattle uh, or the kettle legs and then we also have the terminal marine around these areas so these are features that have formed due to the glacial depositional uh, uh, process when the the glass should deposit certain materials there. It leads to the formation of these features that we are looking at right now. So the factors that are quite limiting glaciation in East Africa, and uh, we have quite a number. Here we have what we call altitude, uh, uh, height above sea level, as we have talked earlier that uh, in East Africa we only have glaciation in few kind of areas uh, because of the height the two above sea level for example only have it around the highest peaks and then uh, why is this so because the higher you go the cooler it becomes as you move up you lose a uh, degree of temperature as you move up so we also have latitude uh, we lie across the, the equator and definitely we have quite hot temperatures around this area limiting glaciation uh, these are factors that are limiting glaciation in East Africa a uh, factor number two we can look at global warming uh, it, it, it's increasing actually the, the temperatures are increasing and then we have also have another factor known as low precipitation uh, definitely we have quite low precipitation around this area of East Africa and then expansion of the deserts you know up north we have the Sahara Desert that is expanding southwards and this limits glaciation remember glaciation is where we see snow falling for quite a long time 
accumulating forming ice sheet which is glacier and definitely that is during cold condition degrees falling below zero but when now temperatures are increasing definitely we can't see uh, snow falling and uh, accumulating forming a glacier we also have a, another factor known as industrialization this increases temperatures we also have urbanization we have uh, the the rain shadow effect all these factors explain why uh, we see limitation of glaciation in east africa then we also look at uh, the functions of glaciation in east africa we have quite a number of them as we move into this study today uh, once tourist attraction we see people coming in the hanging valleys for waterfalls which are used uh, source of water for rivers for example uh, on the mount of mount renzori uh, where we have the mubuku river uh, which is important for irrigation uh, and then we have the whitewash plains which provide fertile land soils for agriculture then also research and study purpose right now we are in study uh, that's how important they are study and research purpose and then many others those are the pros of uh, our topic today uh, there are also good sites for filming and photography uh, they're quite amazing as we shall see uh, then the cones or the problems or the demelts that we have around this area is that they form rugged terrains uh, which are not good for a kind of transportation and human settlement also the temperatures here fall be below zero which are quite not good for human settlement so allow us dive into in more and we look at uh, what a glacier is and how a glacier is formed so let's understand what glaciers are glaciers what are glaciers that's a good question to ask ourselves so we are saying glaciers are bodies of ice formed from repeated periods of snowfall. Due to gravity, glaciers are forced to move slowly down the hill. Definitely we have different types of glaciers. For example, the alpine glacier. This is formed in mountain areas. Then we also have what we call the continental glacier. The continental glacier, this is a massive glacier that actually moves from uh, the, the center having actually occupied a bigger land and uh, moving outwards from the center for example in the antarctica and then also in the greenland areas where we have the continental kind of glacier so how is how are these glaciers formed right here we want to look at how they are formed winter season or cold co conditions during the period of cold conditions and winter we have said snow falls for quite a long period of time and with the time it accumulates forming a large ice or a large bit of ice due to the repeated periods of snowfall so what we are seeing down here is that snow is falling over and over over a period of time accumulating forming what we call an ice sheet which is referred to as a glacier so during summer seasons this ice is forced to melt due to the pressure that is above and then it starts to retreat down the hill as it is retreating the glaciers performs two processes one it erodes and then deposits then when it is eroding we are going to see certain features that are formed already we have seen them earlier so what we see right now, it is retreating as it is melting down due to the hot conditions. As it is retreating, it forms what we call the alluvial fans later around that area. So this retreating happens over time due to the hot kind of temperatures. With the time, later on, the conditions come again, the cold conditions. Then we again see snow falling. As it, is, as it falls over again, we see accumulation of the snow. Time after time. With time, it again forms a glacier. When these glaciers are formed again, they accumulate uh, and then occupy the mountain tops you can see up here. And then the valley tops and then within the bottom of the valley uh, in their formation later they will do the same processes that we have talked about now when summer season kicks in we are going to see the same thing happening here now we see again ice melting and it is melting it is retreating 
hence leaving the deposited material which we call moraine around the bottom of the valley down the slope so with the time it again forms what we see as rivers around this area and then the hanging valleys up there where we see a turn it again forms a lake up there and then water starts to flow and where does this water come from it is as simple as melting ice that produces this water and actually glaciers are one of the number one uh, uh, features that form the fresh water on planet earth so with the time the, the the valleys tend to grow the vegetation type and then we see rivers being formed and lakes in the town in the hanging valley we see kind of u-shaped formation of valleys and then we see uh, vegetation growing and even later trees come up so this is the process that leads to the formation of these glaciers and then with the time they do their two processes that is erosion and the deposition so what move on and look at these other futures formed and how are they formed for example right now we are looking what we call a core quarries are formed when again the snow accumulates and fills up a cavity within the mountain these quarries later fill up and then this glacier that is formed within the depression due to the weight is forced to move in the process known as the rotation of slip with time we see the freezing thaw weathering up the mountain where water fills up the cracks of the rocks and then freezes and expands freezes and expands as it is expanding it leads to disintegration of these rocks they fall into this big glacier and then go beneath the glacier and as the glacier is moving down it causes erosion in a process known as abrasion where these now crack the surface i think you can see in this now they have already cracked and smoothened that surface as they move down the slope so that's known as abrasion process then also with time this glacier that is heavy in weight it causes what we call plucking that's another process of erosion it plucks off the massive boulders of rocks hence forming uh, what we call a tan when we see there so in this valley that we see right now it has also formed what we call a u-shaped valley due to its sea uh, erosion that is coming from up no uh, up the hill down the hill forming what we call a u-shaped t valley what we see here that's some time back due to the process of what glaciation so what we see is a hanging valley which was formed by that simple glacier that was unable to erode down the slope then from that also what we call the interlocking spurs which are formed by the retreating of this glacier and then the truncated spur up into the hills what we see here is a smooth valley which was formed due to glaciation yes right now we see how this glacier moves and retreats down the slope uh, right we can see there is a uh, glacier and ice uh, on the mountain and uh, with the hot conditions and uh, the weight of this glacier uh, it forces uh, the ice to retreat forces the ice to melt down break down and then it moves down the hill so I want you just to observe this slowly but sure it breaks down disintegrates and then retreats what you see there i see massive massive my goodness massive uh, what you see there is what we call carving of this ice it's now carving in it's retreating down the slope due to the massive weight and then the heat uh, what you see these are now uh, summer conditions warm conditions that are forcing it to melt down and then move down the the, the slope as it does so we have seen earlier that it's doing what we call erosion it is eroding and forming different kind of features that we have already seen uh, right here also we see a massive glacier uh, it starts slowly with the time it will move massively you can see there it is retreating down 
downwards what you see there please it's not water that's not water that is as simple as ice this ice rock that you see there and that's the massive glacier that we've been talking about so it is retreating due to the warm conditions and then the, in, the, the the weight of it forces it to move uh, beneath the, 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 the slope uh, what we see there it is doing a retreating and it is moving that's the movement of this glacier early alone that we have seen so it's massive as you can see very massive and it's interesting right there and that's how it does its process with the time it forms all the features that we have talked about what you see there is an ice sheet that's a nice rock that you see there uh, it's not water it's it's not anything uh, that is a glacier retreating basically ice retreating as you can see right there uh, quite interesting quite interesting keep watching just 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 observe what is happening right there uh, it's because of uh, what we have just talked about the, the temperature is increasing and then the massive weight of this forces the glacier to move to move to move uh, retreating down the slope right there so you can see that is a rock ice there it's a rock ice they're moving and it's quite massive uh, what we can see that it's a large area of this ice moving moving right there that is ice moving from one place to another and it's doing that is doing the processes of erosion and then deposition uh, I want to thank you so much for having been a good audience uh, uh, we shall start from there please see you next time